thing went down, 99-92, they did pretty decent. Now, the reason I I enjoyed the game, but I'm not really going to put anything in it, is because of what I just previously said. We know where we want to see these two teams. We want to see them in the finals. If we're, if we're going to get a matchup, it's going to be the finals. That's where everybody wants to see them. So, And that's the only way they're going to be able to see them. You know, nobody wants to see a regular season game anymore after that. But this whole makeup of if they do make it round, what is this, four it would be? I just said, Isaiah Thomas didn't play. So you got to think things will be different with Isaiah Thomas. Derrick Rose, if he gets back, you got to think things are going to be different. I think, you know, Dwayne Wade will definitely be more comfortable in his role for this team. Or, or I could see them changing it up to start if they get to the finals and they have J.R. Smith come off the bench and have D. Wade start. So you got that mixture, you know, um, in the in the equation. Steph did not play. Jordan Bell wasn't even on the team last year. So you got guys who probably could step up to help this team out. They they don't have some of their guys uh, from last year because they went on to, you know, other teams. And I'm talking about the Warriors. You know, you win a championship, you know, you maybe go somewhere else and get paid, you know, at that point. So I enjoyed the game very well. I just think there's still more to be said about these two teams. And if we get them in the finals, I think we'll get the answers. But I, I think Cleveland is a lot better than they were last year as far as like their overall team. They had some guys uh, last year, but to me, they had some old guys. And to me, D-Wade, I think they're doing the right thing. He doesn't need to be started. For what? For what? For what? For what? You got all these other guys that can do what you need them to do during the regular season. You just have the way to come in, keep them fresh, because when the playoffs start, that's why you want him. And you for sure want him when the finals come around, if they make it to the finals. That's it. That's why you got him here. You don't got him here to, to do anything else. So there's no point of him playing, logging all those minutes and everything. You just be ready to go when the playoffs come and we make it to the finals. If that's that's to me, that's what I think Cleveland mindset is, you know, uh, for this. So it, it it will definitely be a whole different makeup if we see these two teams again uh, late or early into the summer if you will. So uh, you listen to the Wait a Minute Show with your host, Jelani J.B. Bodie. Uh, Lopan, uh, he went somewhere. I don't even know if he came back. Oh, yeah, there he is. Lopan, tell him what's up. So Lopan uh, and me are tonight uh, talking about a review in sports, you know, for 2017. So a couple other things that stuck out to me, and we just talked about it, uh, was the whole Kyrie Irving, Isaiah Thomas trade. So I'm going to tell you all right now, when that – When they said, when, you know, the the rumors came out that Kyrie wants out, Kyrie doesn't want to play, you know, in in Cleveland anymore. He doesn't want to be under LeBron shadow or, you know, I got to do what I got to do. All that stuff that Kyrie was talking about. Okay, fine. Okay, it's like, where's Kyrie going to go? Where is he going to go? And it comes out and I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Kyrie Irving traded for Isaiah Thomas and Jay Crowder and a first-round draft pick. What? Two teams that just played in the Eastern Conference Final. Two teams are now trying to get back to the finals. One team has been there multiple times. The other team is look like they, you know, are making moves. They are going to, you know, they were going after Gordon Hayward and everybody, everything. Everybody knew that, you know, and they had the best chance of getting Gordon Hayward. So it's like this this team, you know, they they took pieces and moved them out. They moved Avery Bradley, you know, to Detroit. They moved, uh, uh, of course, like I said, Isaiah Thomas and Drake Crowder out of there. You draft people, you know, like uh, Jason Tatum and, and uh, then you depend on guys like Jalen Brown, you know, to follow it up. So. Uh, and just to say, you know what? We're going to 
and this is what I think Boston is thinking. We're going to take one of your pieces. But, and that's going to make us two times better than we already are. But we're going to give you one of our guys to where we think the momentum shift. They think that with Kyrie, they got a little bit more of the leverage now with Kyrie than they did with Isaiah. I don't know if they're right. I mean, I, I, I think a lot of people at this point, if, if you put Isaiah and, and Kyrie up side by side and, and, and ask people who would they take, I think Kyrie still wins that. I th- Kyrie's, a, you know, and they their, their styles are a little bit different. But I was just the whole thing of someone that you're battling with that you're going to make that trade. And Cleveland made that trade. And I don't know if it was maybe it was that Kyrie was just like, this is where I want to go. Maybe Kyrie was thinking. um, This is the only place I'll sign off on. And what I mean by sign off on, you know, is that it won't be a problem when he get there, you know, that they're not just renting him out. But Kyrie Irving and Isaiah Thomas trade that if if you had told me they're going to trade I, Kyrie Irving and Isaiah Thomas, I would have been like, there's no way, no way. And to me, Cleveland got better. They got better. They might have took a little bit of a step back by getting Isaiah, but not that much. But they got better because they got Jay Crowder. Uh, I forgot who it was. I think Jeff and Gundy or Mark Jackson, they were saying in the game on Sunday, I mean, Monday, they made a very good point. They said, now, now LeBron doesn't have to always guard, you know, the best player or the bigger, you know, bigger guy. You can put Jay Crowder on, on that person and, and Jay Crowder, would, you know, he, he's not going to lock him down or anything like that, but he is going to be able to hold his own to where you don't have to go get LeBron. And then guess what? LeBron is fresher. And maybe that's why LeBron is having the season that he's having right now. You know, and they're saying that this is one of his best seasons, you know, being in year 15, you know. Um, But Kyrie Irving, IT, very, very surprised, you know, in that. Another surprise that happened this year, In the world of boxing, who would have thought an MMA fighter would have got into the ring with a professional boxer? Now, we've talked about, like, who would win, you know, in a a situation like that. But it had to be the right person. And they found the right person. Actually, they found each other. So the Floyd Mayweather... Versus Conor McGregor fight was also very big in the year of 2017. They touch all, you know, all over the board. They talked about each other. They got in each other's faces. Borderline threatening each other. Having a pouty mouth in front of the children. But they sold this fight. They sold the mess out of this fight. And it was just that mystery of could Connor catch him? And and the the whole thing was about Connor's power. If he could catch Floyd. No one has ever caught in Floyd. So I don't know why people thought that, that he was going to catch him. Now, I had him losing in the fifth round. And I mean, Connor McGregor, I had him losing the fifth round. I was just a little bit early. He lost in the eighth round. Uh, gotten basically they stopped the fight. Connor was getting tired. He couldn't defend himself. I just thought he would have got tired in the fifth round. And and it was basically he wasn't conditioned enough to go twelve rounds like like Floyd is. But I will give Connor credit. He oh my gosh, he held his own in there though. Now. Floyd's not the the knockout artist. He's not Triple G or nothing like that, you know, where he packing a punch. But he still is a professional fighter. And he could have possibly knocked out Conor. 
But I, I give Conor McGregor credit because he held his own in there. And more than anything, Conor got his money. Yes, he did. That's the other part of this that stuck out. Both of these guys got paid. Show me the money! Yes, they both got showed the money. And, and I'm not going to hate on, hate on them for that. To me, I think this fight was more entertaining than the, the Pacquiao fight with Floyd. Pacquiao was long overdue, you know. Floyd was long overdue. So you had two guys that are professional fighters fight. But Conor sold his fight. He sold his fight more. He he did catch uh, Floyd a few times. So he did show him like, yo, you know, I can box a little bit. And he, he impre- impressed. Now, I just hope this doesn't start where, you know, all these other guys are going to want to, you know, fight uh, other professional boxers and all this stuff. Because this, I think I think Floyd could have destroyed Conor if he wanted to, but it didn't make any sense. It, 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 I'm sorry. Why, why am I using that word when I say uh, Floyd Mayweather? It didn't make any dollars because he don't deal with anything in sense. It, it didn't make any dollars. For him to just go out there and lay Connor out, you know, let him let him punch himself out, let him throw some stuff, sell the fight, make sure I just don't get caught. Hey, I got the I'm the greatest defensive boxer boxer in the world. So if that's against professionals, I should be good against someone that is not a professional. And it pfft. it got me to watch. I watched. I think we all watch, you know. Shouts out to my man Ron that's in the uh, Wait a Minute Show chat room. He said, Conor McGregor, wow, what a hype, you know. Uh, Yeah, what a hype. What a hype. And now Conor is in a position where he's not going to just take any old fight from the UFC. He's like, do you see how much I got paid? Somebody else will will pay to see me in a, a boxing ring again, as long as it's against the right person. Not Oscar De La Hoya. But against the right person, they will pay me. What are you going to do, UFC? That might be a story for 2018. You know, how that Dana White and, and, and Conor McGregor, how they all worked that out. but. As of right now, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather fight, I did not think it was going to happen. I was like, no, there's no way this is going to happen. And it happened. And I guess, yeah, why not? Easy, you know, 100 plus million you can make off of just a guy that people, you know, just like any other guy. Man, can he catch Floyd? And Floyd was just like, yeah, easy money. I mean, why not? That's right. In the wait a minute show chat room said, my wife and daughter actually ordered the fight over my objections. I was going to watch it for free on Periscope. Well, Vince, hey, look at it this way. I, I, I still think you were impressed by what happened. I think all of us were impressed with what happened, you know? So we'll move on from that uh, and, and we'll bring ourselves back to the present. And and I think this is eh, something to talk about, but maybe, you know, um, just more rumor. I don't know. I don't know if this thing have any legs to it just yet, but it is something to think about. Uh, we all know that the Carolina Panthers are up for sale. Uh, in the NFL or will be up for sale pretty soon here. And everybody's been trying to put in their bid or everybody been getting their money together. You know, uh, Diddy is talking about he want to purchase it. And, you know, these other, you know, people that uh, Kyrie, uh, not Kyrie, uh, Steph Curry, you know, wants to get in and all this stuff. Lopan is trying to get some people together. Lopan, I don't know why you trying to get some people together. These people are dealing in billions of dollars. You you don't have billion. 
You don't have millions or thousands. Sometimes.